This video will provide an overview of the Hemwell procedure and highlight the benefits of this treatment. Using Hemwell to address hemorrhoids results in a quick procedure that is better for the patient and better for the practice. Hemwell uses a low voltage electrical direct current to perform electrolytic ligation of hemorrhoids. There is no heat involved. The procedure is extremely well tolerated by patients with no downtime or post-operative pain. Hemwell is easy to learn and quickly adaptable into the busy world of ASCs. Hemwell can be performed in conjunction with any procedure or by itself while the patient is under sedation. Reimbursement is strong to both the provider and the ASC. There is no upfront cost to your practice. The Hemwell procedure becomes a critical non-surgical option for hemorrhoid therapy in the GI setting without using heat or tissue penetration. The Hemwell procedure is performed via direct visualization through anoscope or on its own as part of any setting while the patient is sedated. Hemwell is commonly done at the end of a colonoscopy or during a flexible sigmoidoscopy. If performed after lower endoscopy, it can be helpful to perform a digital exam while retroflex to confirm the location and angle of the hemorrhoid or hemorrhoids you desire to treat. The actual Hemwell device is about the size of a child's lunchbox. Since the procedure of electrolytic ligation is created by a very low voltage direct current, the entire device is simply powered by four D-cell batteries. The unit consists of the handheld controller with built-in timer, milliamp setting, up-down arrows. The up-down arrows adjust the milliamp setting. Typically, in a sedated patient, the milliamps are increased to 16 for treatment of or on each hemorrhoid column for three and a half to five minutes. More on that in just a moment. This is the reusable treatment probe that rotates to satisfy the position preference of the provider. A grounding pad with five cc's of saline applied to the pad is required. The Hemwell device is simple to set up and can be ready to use in a matter of seconds. Taking the lighted, slotted, or beveled edged anoscope with obturator, insert fully into the rectum. Holding the anoscope in the desired position in line with the hemorrhoid, remove the obturator and begin pulling the beveled edge back so that you can clearly see the column needing treatment in the anoscope. Once you see the dentate line, advance slightly to assure that you perform the procedure proximal to this location. Holding the controller wand, place the probe so that they contact the base of the hemorrhoid column approximately two centimeters above the dentate line. Once in place, press the up arrow on the controller wand to increase the milliamps. It may be necessary to provide the patient a slight increase in sedative as the 16 milliamp setting is achieved. The unit's timer will start immediately when the first milliamp of current is delivered. Having predetermined the grade and severity of the column needing treatment, Simply hold the probes in place at the hemorrhoid base for the correct amount of time. Normally, this is three and a half to five minutes per column. You will start to see a blanching and tiny white bubbling on the surface of the hemorrhoid within the first minute. This signals the electrolytic ligation is underway. Typically, the treatment will last three and a half to five minutes at the 16 milliamp level. When the treatment time is complete, Press the up and down arrows at the same time to turn off the power. When the power is off, remove the probes but leave the anoscope in if there are more columns to address. It's not necessary to look back at the area after the procedure, but some providers do find it helpful to see the immediate results and get a better feel for the procedure. A retroflex view is the best way to check results and placement. Treating just the prominent presumed larger hemorrhoid, possibly with stigmata of bleeding, is all that is needed. However, multiple columns can be treated in the same session. To do this, simply remove the probes and rotate the anoscope to the next hemorrhoid column for treatment. 
The process of electrolytic ligation continues over the next 7 to 10 days, so the immediate inspection is only the beginning of the final outcome. For the majority of patients, there is no post-procedural pain, but if pain is an issue, we recommend 600 milligrams of ibuprofen and a hot bath to relax the rectum. This will typically provide any needed relief. A more aggressive approach taken by some providers is to provide a nightly hydrocortisone lidocaine suppository for five to seven nights to help reduce any post-procedure swelling or discomfort. If you have any questions that need to be addressed before you begin using the Hemwell procedure with your patients, please visit hemwellrelief.com slash questions. Hemwell, it's better for the patient and it's better for the practice.